What I love about my job and what I love about this place and what I love about Florida is the rarity, uniqueness, and special dynamics. Um, these are ever-changing landscapes. They're maintained by the forces of wind, fire, and water. They're exciting. The Oto Connector, which is the Osceola National Forest, to the Ocala National Forest. We have large landscapes that are protected, and we have small landscapes that are by themselves and fragmented. Species on islands go extinct, and we're creating islands of habitat by rapid development in Florida. Corridors, it turns out, are very important for all sorts of species. They need to move between habitats. They might have different needs depending temporally on the time of the year. So having an isolated little pocket of land that's protected is good. That's, that's not a bad thing because it's not a shopping mall. But what's better is stringing these parcels together and making big, long corridors of green space. So it's a vital connection between two of the last remaining great places in the Florida Peninsula to keep common species common and to make sure our rare and imperiled species do not go extinct. You'll see trees that have resin coming all the way down them, and those are trees that are maintained by red cockaded woodpeckers that dig little resin wells so that the resin uh, serves as a barrier to snakes that would eat their young. They are sort of the poster child for endangered species management with the military, and one they've worked very hard throughout the entire southeastern coastal range to uh, restore on all military properties. Um, so that is our best species out here as far as management and long-term management of the species. So how do we um, maintain these beautiful places and provide for all this diversity of species? Uh, one of the key components is fire. Terrestrial Florida ecosystems need fire, and most of them need it fairly frequently. Florida needs fire. If you have an ecosystem that's not putting up smoke, it's probably not healthy. This, what you're looking at right here, we burned. We could go Friday, and it's some six-year-old longleaf. The native plants and the animals that are native to the area evolved with fire. So they, they expect it to be there, and some of them don't reproduce until they're burned. Ocala National Forest has an ecosystem in Florida known as Sandpine Scrub. It is an ecosystem endemic to Florida and only occurs in the state. The Oto Connector also has longleaf pine, flatwoods, sandhill, and scrub in it. In addition to those, one that is less common in the Oto Connector is our springs, and Ocala National Forest has springs as well as swamps and wet prairies. Ocala National Forest is recognized as the greatest water recharge area in the North Florida Peninsula. The greatest area of protected water, the greatest cleanest water available for drinking water, and since most central Floridians are drinking right out of the aquifer, they're drinking water that's largely come from this forest and other natural landscapes percolating into the aquifer. Ocala National Forest has an amazing variety of things for a visitor to do. And this is a beautiful place for nature viewing. The more you come, the more you'll see that each season and every part of the season brings different species out, whether it's wildflowers or butterflies, um, dragonflies, and of course, all of our birds. Large undeveloped tracts of land started to come forward as being the most important for wildlife to continue to be able to move and thrive and have genetic mixing, um, as well as having areas to forage in the sea of development. So usually the connectors, um, if they aren't public lands or state lands or protected lands, they're lands that are still good for conservation. And that's where our foresters and farmers and ranchers come in. Conservation easements are really important for that. Our goal out here is to be able to produce timber while managing for wildlife, doing some restoration to some habitat, and conserving some of the natural areas that need conserving. If you manage the forest correctly, everything benefits. Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, we're working with them on spotted turtle study, the third year of that. And then, of course, with the North Florida Land Trust, they're helping us get this all under a conservation easement because we're adjacent to about 6,000 acres of already owned public property. This is all conservation land. and what we've got fits in real well with that and we're trying to sort of include it all. Um, and that Oto connector can, can pull it all together. But we all matter in the choices we make every day and that's where conservation begins. And when I see children pick that up, then I have hope and I believe in the future. You would see green. You would see life. That's what you would see. You would see life. Mm -hmm.